Hello, my name is Arthur, and in this video we're back for another debugging. And this time it has to do with window size and the scroll bar. So, um, yeah, I've come across this error, and we're going to have a look at how that happens. So we'll just compile that and run. Whoops. And run. So I've been messing around a little bit with sizes here. And just to get an idea for which size is which and what those sizes look like. So here's the error I came across. Um, I had my search and replace bar open. I squished the window and I start throwing errors, especially if I touch the scroll bar. So what's happening is the window is just um, getting too small and it probably shouldn't be allowed to be any smaller than um, enough room to make the scroll bar move. So as long as the scroll bar can move, there's no error. But if the scroll bar can't move, that's causing errors. And it's hard to see, but the numbers are changing as the errors move, because those are, I'm pretty sure that's a timestamp. So we need to establish a minimum size for the windows. So in the one direction, it'll already constrain itself. So it will constrain itself in this direction. It can't get smaller than this. But in this direction, there's nothing stopping it from getting too small. So, yeah, I think what we need here is um, GDK widget. Set size request, and I don't think that a window is allowed to get smaller than its size re request. So we would put window and the size request. So let's try just going 300 by 300, and we'll see where that gets us see if that's enough and the size request doesn't doesn't mean it's only going to be that big because we're setting a default size of 800 by 800 so the size request should just act as an anchor to stop it from getting too small at least i think that's how it works so let's give that a try and see how small that lets us shrink a window okay so that's allowing me to shrink the window too small now in that direction. In this direction, it's about right. So if we had a document loaded in here, the scroll bar can still move, so it's not going to throw that error. But in this direction, oh, now it's not letting me go in that direction. I wonder why that is. Okay, let's run that again. Uh, maybe we can see a reason that that happened. Oh, it has to do with this bar. So what, I would say that's around 300 by 600. So let's try the 600 here. I'm not sure which is actually width and which is height. We'll just experiment a little bit with that. Okay, so that's backwards. Let's try 5 and 3. Just a little bit of uh, testing around. So 
So there's the 3 and there's the 5. So let's see if... Okay, so the 5 needs to be maybe a little bit wider. So maybe let's try it at 550. So we'll save that. So, yeah, with that size limitation, um, I don't see any reason why the application should need to get any smaller than this anyways. So that size restriction should clear up the stream of errors coming from the scroll bar. And leave the scroll bar still working. We can't shrink any smaller than that, which, yeah. Which I don't think should be an issue in an application like this. So that's it for this video. Just a quick debug on this error that I came across while playing around to see if I could find some errors and things wrong with the project so far. So that's it. I hope it's helpful. And until the next video, take care.